I sit here in the darkness trying to write final instructions for mankind's last hope, but I cannot help but dwell on the philosophical ideas about the nature of humankind. These problems keep haunting my mind. My teachers always thought of me as a bright student. I graduated valedictorian of my class and soon began a successful career as a geneticist. The government then hired me to research and develop biolog biological chemicals. I did not want to be a part in a project that could so easily be turned towards destruction, but the government cut all my funds towards all my other research. I had no choice. With my knowledge of genetics, I helped to create a weapon capable of eliminating all human life without any side effects to the rest of the world's creatures. I never thought it would actually be implemented. I figured, at most, it would be used as a deterrent. But being the hasty fools that they are, the leaders of the world, barely comprehending the consequences of their action, unleashed, unleashed my weapon, eliminating everyone on the face of this planet. I have one card up my sleeve, however, and humanity has one last hope. I took it on upon myself to cryogenically freeze nine intelligent young people to reestablish civilization on this planet. The chambers will open in 30 years, at which point the chemicals should have degraded to a safe level. After that, the seven highly trained males will establish a genetic engineering lab to fertilize synthetic human eggs that will later be implanted in the, in the two incubating females. I'm beginning to have doubts as to whether mankind can, co can coexist with nature, but I am feeling too weak to abort the project now. I feel I, I have little time left to live. Get me out of here. Get cold in here. Get cold in here. Get me out of here. You've been dying here. Get me out of here. God damn, we're gonna die here. It's getting colder. I'm gonna... <laughs> Okay, guys, it's time to get to work. Richard and Grant, you guys go set up the lab. Mike Driver, you go find a car because we might be needing transportation. Johnny, Austin, you guys come with me. We're going to try to locate the computer. Dr. Hertzing left some final plans on it for us. Let's get to work, you guys. Uh, does anyone know where Lance is? Anyone? 
I'll find some cars. Didn't want to hang around here with these jerks anyway. in utero solution. I am adding the embryonic nutrients now. temperature this should be it it looks to me like the uh, eggs are fertilized why don't we go release the incubating females from the chambers it's time Now I'm just trying to locate some files that Dr. Hertzing left. It has like his personal notes and stuff and some final instructions on them. Looks like I found it. Check this out. It says here Hertzing had his doubts about this whole project. Doubts? Kind of doubts. I'm not sure if you even wanted to go through with this. Makes sense. It says here he almost aborted the whole project. Why would, why would he, why would he abort? It says he didn't know if humans should repopulate there. He doesn't know if we're capable of coexisting with nature. I totally disagree with them, guys. Well, I do. I think... Screw this. We're not bored. Johnny, see if you can find something. Drink some sodas or something. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Just see if you can find anything else on that stuff. So. I'll be back. Gotcha. Can you believe this? It almost killed us all off. Just gonna set the chambers to never open. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I understand. He doesn't want to have the burden of playing God. I don't know if I feel right about us even surviving. It wasn't right that Virtue was playing God. I'm thinking maybe we should just go kill off the females. That way we can't repopulate. Far-fetched, but it's not altogether absurd. Let's do it. Let's go kill him off.
Dr. George. I'll cover it.